So I had to bring Bella inside to ask her a question that I never ever wanted to ask her before. <laughs> Do you have a tampon I can use? Why? I'm gonna bring a used tampon. Oh my god. A used the... tampon? You need a used tampon? <laughs> oh, YouTube couples. Almost the worst kind of channel on this website, right behind family channels. And I have found what might just be the most annoying couple on this entire platform. Allow me to introduce you to JD Vlogs. Now, while at the core they're just another cookie cutter couple channel, with all of their videos pretty much just boiling down to them, showing off their wealth and saying, look at how hot we are. Something about their personality just grates me a little bit more than the rest of the couples on this website. And while well, the kinds of videos they post don't help their case either, because the video we're going to be looking at today is titled Embarrassing My Wife in Front of Friends. Now if you can't quite make out that thumbnail, it's a good old fashioned tampon prank. These are grown adults. Please subscribe. Yo, alright, we are here with a bunch of YouTubers. I got my boy Tanner behind the camera to film the most savage pranks ever. So today I'm gonna embarrass KDB by doing something a little, it's a little dirty, it's a little messed up. Yeah guys, it's a terrible idea, it's really messed up, it's probably going to ruin her day. It might even end with us getting divorced. So yeah, it sounds like a great idea, this is gonna be a banger. I mean, what's the logic here? And to do it in front of brand new people that she just met, we're taking the prank wars to the next level. So you guys will see what's about to go down, but basically today we're gonna vlog and then we're gonna prank her, it's gonna be savage. This might be the cringiest part of the entire video to me. I mean, how do you even orchestrate this? They're in a giant group doing what is essentially a bunch of warm-ups. I mean, did they think this was gonna look good for the camera? I mean, seriously, sidesteps and jumping jacks? This looks like a reenactment of a middle school gym. It's a game called Smash 7. It's super dope. Like, basically, you just smash the ball at someone's face on the seventh hit. Super fun. Could be interesting. Okay, so I'm really not trying to sound like an overly cynical nerd here, but are you serious? This sounds like a game they'd make a bunch of jocks play in a satirical high school movie. The point of the game is to hit somebody in the face with a ball. Well, honestly, I guess that's not really too far off. When I played high school football, we once played boxing ball, which was essentially just basketball with boxing gloves, and you could just punch the shit out of people. Come in, go. Alright, one. Get out of here, You know what's kind of funny? I'm sure none of these guys act like they're acting right now in their day-to-day -day life, but they feel the need to put on this, like, persona when they're around these guys. I mean, you're staying in this, like, giant mansion with this amazing pool, and you're playing Smash 7? I mean, it would be fun if you guys were, like, good at it, but so far, it doesn't even seem like anybody's hit anybody, so, like, it seems like it would get pretty old. So I had to bring Bella inside to ask her a question that I never, ever <laughs> wanted to ask her before. <laughs> Do you have a tampon I can use? <laughs> Why? I'm trying to, I'm trying to embarrass Katie. She's out at the pool. All the friends are out there. I'm gonna bring a used tampon. Oh my god! A used the... tampon? You need a used tampon? <laughs> Every time I hear that sound effect, I have flashbacks. I'm back in middle school watching Vine. I mean, how is anybody still using those sound effects? I mean, I'm guessing these two were on social media when Vine was around. Did they not know that these sound effects are a little bit dated at this point? How do we make this bloody, bro? Like, bro, I don't know. Like, we got catch. Or Catch it up or something. Wait, low key. Not how to work one of these things. I, I have no idea. Never have opened one in my okay. life. Uh, yeah, that's what it uh. kind of looks like. I don't. I actually don't know. I think it's supposed to be like kind of like maybe bushed out, maybe bloody. Okay. Uh. Wow, these guys actually behave like middle school children. I mean, if you are over the age of, I don't know, 13, and you are grossed out by a tampon, that is actually kind of sad. I mean, it's quite literally like being grossed out by holding toilet paper. Oh, think about that, bro. <laughs> like, oh. I do it like, like if you like mush it in the strawberries or something. <laughs> Dude, do, that would work. Do we do it? Let's do it, bro. <laughs> Yo, if you guys are watching this, I'm sorry you ate in here after this, actually. I'm not touching the food. Oh. <laughs> As he touches the food. <laughs> We're just gonna throw that out. I think that never happened. You guys good enough? It's nasty. No, bro. That's fire. Never in my life did I ever expect to hear a grown man call a tampon with fruit juice on it fire. Make a war, bro. Make it believable. Ugh. <laughs> uh, that's fire. Okay, but let's send it. That's gross. <laughs> this is gross. So gross. You guys getting all the flicks out here? 
I'm gonna have you on this bus right now. Ew, babe. Did you guys get what? No, just like in the Ugh, babe. That's what? disgusting. That's what? tampon? Ew. Ew. That's disgusting, babe. Why are you saying babe? That's not yours? That's not mine. Is that, is that anyone else's? That's f nasty, babe. Hey, that's not me. That that's thing? nasty. Why are you saying that's mine? Can I'm you not throw even going to. No, ew. Don't touch me. That's <laughs> gross. Your thing? I get it, I get it. That's so hey, dumb. that's disgusting. Wow, what a fire prank. I mean, genuinely nothing good comes out of a prank like this. So let's assume that the entire thing is not staged, but knowing these channels, it probably is. But if the people around weren't expecting this, you now have A, friends who think a tampon prank is funny, which is obviously never a good thing to have, and B, friends who now know that you think a tampon prank is funny, which I'm assuming for most people would instantly decrease their opinion of you by about 50%. It's a lose-lose situation. Yo, yeah, just throw it out the- That's embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing? It's that's not mine. Yeah. That's so nasty. Babe, that's not mine. Not okay, wait. Hey, guys, I'm not even on my period. That's gross. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why this are you happened? trying to embarrass me? Why are you saying that? It's not a big deal. Hey, it's- Okay, first of all, it's not mine. I don't even know what you're saying. I'm literally the only way you use tampon. That's not mine. Get it out of Ew, that, first of all, why would you, if that even happened, why would you even cover for me rather than saying like, that's me? So are we really expected to believe that she cannot see the entire person standing, I don't know, maybe 15 feet away filming them? Do they really think their audience is that gullible? Well, I mean, they probably are, but still, it's insulting. Like, why would you do that? Because that's, I was just helping you out. No, you literally just, that was so embarrassing. This is just kind of sad. I mean, these are all like actual adults, and this is a real conversation they're having, staged or not. Like, to actively participate in this and be over the age of 13, that's not a good sign. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're to that's awkward, bro. That's awkward. What thought I just walked into? We're headed to the pool. Yeah, we're headed. That's awkward. Why are you so mad? I'm not mad at you, that's embarrassing. Why are you saying that? This might just be the fakest reaction to a prank I've ever seen. This is not a prank where you would be happy once you realize it's a prank. You'd be happy once everybody else realized it's a prank. Remember, you're supposed to be embarrassed? You knowing it's not yours does not change the embarrassment because you already knew it wasn't yours. I mean, did they even try to make this make sense? So the rest of the video is them just pretty much like running after each other, I guess. I don't really know what's going on. And then this magician that they hired to come to the house, so, um, nothing really too exciting. The notable part of the video is over. Well, there you have it. My choice for the worst couple on this website. I just don't see how anybody would want to watch these videos. I mean, I guess if you're like 10? But other than that, how could you possibly find them entertaining? I will never understand people who watch YouTubers where every single video is fake. How is that fun? I don't get it. If you enjoyed this video, please please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.